Hello denizens of the internet, this is my second video about my goals for next year. I posted one yesterday and this one should be a bit more detailed. Basically the idea is that having goals keeps me motivated, makes it easier for me to do things and I find that as long as I've got a goal to aim for it means that I can focus enough to actually get that done. But if a goal's too easy or too hard, then changing it feels like I'm cheating somehow. And obviously I don't want to do that. I don't want to feel like I'm cheating because then it loses the motivational effect. So the answer I've come up with is that if I want to change one of my goals, I will post a video or a post on Google Plus asking people what is a reasonable point to change it to, or should I ditch this goal, or what new goals should I add. So I expect to be doing different things as the year goes on. And um, basically um, my goals change and other people have some feedback. And because I'm doing this where people can watch it, it means that I have a real incentive. It feels like there's you know, I'm responsible to someone apart from myself. And so the first thing I'm thinking, first goal, is going to be to do a video or a post on Google Plus, or both, <coughs> at the end of every week, so that... I'm reporting on how I'm doing with all these goals. But apart from that, I need to set some starting goals. I'll add more as the year goes on. Maybe I'll remove some of them if either I'm doing it well enough that it doesn't need to be a goal anymore, or if it's obvious I'm not doing so well, I'll make it easier and then remove it. But I will you know, ask for feedback from somebody else so that it doesn't feel like I'm cheating. But my starting goals, first off, I'm going to um, spend at least 30 hours a week working. And that's one that I've got to do because that's what I'm committed to doing anyway. But having it on the list of goals, something I'm going to report on makes it easier to stick with that. Then I've got the writing goals, which I'm going to try and make it so it's not so um, tough. I'm going to aim to write at least 2,000 words a day. I think that's a good minimum for if I have a bad day. And at the same time, I'll try and get 100,000 words every month. What those are on, well, it'll be so many different projects, but that's how much I'm going to aim to write, just so I'm keeping, getting used to writing every day. Then, publishing stuff. You might know that I've got a huge folder full of more than 400 short stories that I've written and that um, at the moment it's just this huge folder full of stories. Some of them are finished, some of them aren't. Some of them I wouldn't be able to publish because it's fan fiction or silly in jokes for some group or just something that I thought would be funny to me and maybe isn't. But some of them I think I could work as Kindle shorts or in an anthology. So I'm going to read at least two or three of those every day and put them in the right folder for what type of thing they are. And then when I've got enough together that I can actually turn it into an anthology, I'm going to spend an hour each day working on that until it's published. That is, say, a minimum of a book every month. Which I've said before, 
you know, this time I think I might actually be able to do it because I'm getting used to how much work it takes to prepare an anthology. Apart from that, um, apart from the writing, there is one other important thing I've got to do that I keep meaning to do and I keep putting off, which is reading. Because a lot of the people I know online and in the local area are also writing and they've got books out. And I've got this stack about this high of books by authors I know. And I want to get through at least those and leave a review on Amazon because reviews really are necessary in order for an independent author to succeed. So for my friends who've written books, I am going to be reading those before I do anything else at the start of the year. I'm going to be reading through those and I'm going to be posting reviews when I finish them. Um, and I'm going to say that I'm going to try and get through at least a chapter or half an hour of reading every day. That way I know that I'm actually going to get through these books and I'm going to be able to post the reviews. And hopefully that is some reviews for mine. Um, then other challenges. I need to go out every day. I need to go for a walk, even if it's just a short one. I do need to go for a walk every day. Um, and for now, I'm going to say that I'm going to try to walk at least a mile every day. I know I did a lot more than that the year before last. Um, and until July, I really was doing a lot more. But it, I can't do it much I used to, I don't know why. So I'm going to set that goal at a mile a day. And if I'm doing that too easily, then I'll increase it later in the year. That's the point. Now, I also wanted to have one goal, one little tick box to mark off, trying something new. But I'm not deciding what that should be yet. So if you've got any ideas on that, please leave a comment. And um, I think that's a decent set of goals to start off with. I'm not sure what else um, I should...